where photographers are competing for the assignment of a lifetime. An all expenses paid trip to New York City to photograph some of the world's biggest stars and to Japan for a Canon photo clinic. To prove their worth, they will have to pass the screening process from hell. Oh, yeah! How are you feeling up there? Oh, good. Our amateur photographers must face off in a three-round battle with photography fiend Justin Watt to show just how far they are willing to go to get that perfect shot. Oh. This is photography as you've never seen it before. This is Photo Face-Off. Presented by Canon Photo Marathon. This week, we're in Thailand. And the city of Ayutthaya boasts numerous magnificent ruins, characterized by majestic towers and gigantic monasteries. The ruins give us an idea of its past splendor. In this historic city, the challenge has been issued by Richard Silarux. Working as a product promoter early in his career, Richard had the opportunity to travel frequently. His desire to capture the beauty of his travels developed his keen eye for landscape and underwater photography. I take part in Photo Face Off because this is a brand new challenge to me, and I love all kinds of challenges. Richard will be going up against Justin Mott, award-winning photographer with works published in the International Herald Tribune, the New York Times, and the Wall Street Journal. He spent seven years honing his skills in travel and portrait photography. In Photo Face-Off, our photographers will battle it out in three photo competitions. First is a speed challenge, followed by a theme challenge, and finally an extreme challenge. Beat Justin in our three-round battle and Richard will win the brand new Canon EOS 70 Mark II. Come out on top in our grand finale and he'll be heading to New York for an official photo assignment and to Japan for a Canon Photo Clinic. Richard and Justin, welcome to Ayutthaya, one of the old capitals of Thailand. Now, once this place was fabulously wealthy, it was one of the richest cities of the East and it played host to hundreds of traders from all around the world. And it was also one of the world's largest cities, home to about a million people back into the 1700s. Today, we'll be focusing our lenses on the generation of tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Your speed challenge today is to take a picture of these adorable babies capturing their happiest moment. Oh, come on, man. Really? Babies? I like babies. They're cute. But the challenge is to get a happy shot. And when babies see me, big dude, beard, bald head, it's like a large version of them, and they're scared of me. So, yeah, I'm starting to get stressed out a little bit. The cameras you're using today are the Canon EOS 70D Dual Pixel CMOS Autofocus Technology. It's capable of giving you precision with your focus, so there's no excuses to miss those beautiful baby smiles. We hope. Facing off with professional photographer might be tough, but I have an advantage. This is Thailand, this is my country. I'm gonna win. All right, guys, your speed challenge starts now. We're here in Thailand, and I'm fired up. My competitor's older than me. First time I had an older competitor. He might have more experience in life, but I definitely have more experience in photography. Hey, little buddy. My strategy is to get very close up face of the baby where it can deliver the happiness in their eyes. Smiling, don't make me cry. And unfortunately, the one I pick starts crying right after I uh, take a shot of her. The other babies are going nuts. Like, all right, forget. They're just going to continue to cry. Hey. 
Look at this beautiful light. You want to sit down? I just locked in wow. on the baby that wasn't crying. Give me a big smile. And then my strategy was find a moment, make him smile, try to get something out of this baby. I was a bit panicked. At the end, I have to move on. How are you doing over there, Richard? Sorry. Hey, it's mine! You can't steal mine. This is my light. My guy. I saw that the only baby is not crying is the one Justin is trying to take photo. So I just move in and shooting the same model. You're going to go with your guy. No, let them calm down a bit. This is a, a weak strategy by Richard coming over and taking my baby. He's a baby stealer. Man, that's lame. Like, this is my shot. I get the baby come. I pick the toys. I pick the light. Don't get into my shots. If he's going to play dirty, I'm going to play dirty. I'm going to play some defense. You're going to have my ugly toe in your shot. Justin, Richard, you have one minute left. Hey. Hey. Hello. Listen, you work with me. We're together in this. You're Thai baby. You don't understand his English. You know what? Whatever. Fine. At the angle that he was shooting, I knew the light wasn't good. So he can try it all he wants. It's not going to work. Ten. Nine. <laughs> You can steal my subject, but you can't steal my shot. Three, two, one. Oh, Camera's oh. down, please. Now you smile. Now you're going to smile. <laughs> really? I don't want an average shot. I want that wild shot. I want to impress the judge. I've got my layers. I've got my light. The only thing I'm unsure about in my head is do I have the moment? The key to every perfect picture is the moment. I couldn't get a shot that I want, so I'm really afraid that there's a big chance I might be losing this lane. Richard and Justin here to determine who the winner is from this first round. I'd like to welcome Joey Ong, the creative director of a boutique design firm called Spike Brand, and he's worked with some big names. Coca-Cola, Big C, Supercenter. Joey, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Hi, Guy. How's it going? Good, good. How you doing? So, Joey, in front of you are the photos from the Speed Challenge. The mission was to capture the baby at its happiest moment. You don't know who the photographs in front of you belong to. Let's begin by asking what you like about each photograph. OK. I quite like the, the close-up of the portrait of the baby and the wandering eyes, the way he or she thinking. I quite like it. And for the second one here, I quite like the a little bit, not that close up, but distant, but with the vivid colours. All right, Joey, what don't you like about the photographs? For the first photo, the baby, it, the eye is very sad. Even though it's telling me something, but it doesn't capture the, the, the happy moment. And for the second one here, even though the baby is smiling and capture the happy moment, but the composition is blocking the baby. All right, Joey, we need you now to score the photos, please. OK. I felt confident when I saw Richard's picture. Uh, not to be cocky, but I thought mine was better. I thought I had more layers. His didn't capture that moment. So I'm feeling good. All right, Joey, it's the moment of truth. Who's the winner? The winner of Thailand Speech Challenge is... Presented by Canon Photo Marathon. Presented by Canon Photo Marathon. The winner of Thailand Speech Challenge is... Justin Mark, congratulations. First round goes to you. Fantastic. But can't get too excited. I've won Speed Challenge before and lost the overall competition, so it doesn't mean that much to me. Now, your results from the Speed Challenge don't affect the overall score, but you do get to choose a theme for the Theme Challenge. So here are your options. Field of Dreams, Silence is Golden, Fish in the Rivers, and Rice in the Fields. No doubt, Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams it is. Best of luck, gentlemen. I will see you at the next challenge. Thank you, Theo.
Gentlemen, here we are at Wat Chai Watanaram, a Buddhist temple identified by cultural historians as a symbol of Buddhism influence over Thai society. And this is one of the most grand sites and has the most elaborate architecture of all the temples here in Ayutthaya. So Justin, as winner of the Speed Challenge, you chose the theme Field of Dreams. This is your arena. The cameras you'll be using for this challenge, gentlemen, the Canon PowerShot SX700HS. It's got 30 time optical zoom, so you should be able to get down onto the fields and really capture this exquisite architecture. You have 30 minutes for this challenge. Best of luck. Your time starts now. Uh, field, field. I'm gonna go down there and get my field. Field of dreams. Over there. I saw a field. I thought that might be the right one with the grass field in front and then with the background of a historical place that could be translated into dream. So it's a perfect for field of dreams. I want to take some sepia shot, make it more dreamy. OK. I think I got the one I was waiting for. Excuse me. Kids, can I get you over here? Can you come here? School children have energy. I have energy. So let's get some energy going. Let's have them run past me and have the ancient ruins in the background and all these kids running like crazy. You're all going to run after me and put your hands and scream like, ah! All right, ready? One, two, three, crazy! <laughs> the problem isn't all that craziness going on. To layer your composition to get it perfectly is quite difficult. It's gonna be tough to nail that composition with that many things going on. It might be a bit too busy. Thank you guys, thank you! But there's nothing that just jumps out of the screen. So, what's my next shot? Hey, Richard. Hey, how's it going? You have that wow shot yet? I'm trying to get some of those uh, nice, beautiful filter. Anything you want to show me? I think I got a good shot, huh? but I want to make it uh, more dramatic. Richard started talking about a sepia tone shot, so it started making me think, maybe he's going to go gimmicky. Maybe he's going to rely on toning rather than the shot. Well, good luck. I'm still going. Same to you. Thanks. In photography, nothing goes according to a plan, but that's sort of the beauty of it. That's the love of it, is you think one thing's going to happen and something else happens. You never, never know. I can only think of field being like grass or something. Maybe I'm not being creative enough. All right, this is actually quite nice. I got something with a little pop here. Color and grass, we got the sun coming out. This might be my last chance for something special. I had all sort of the right set of grass, and I think that one might capture the theme properly. And I made a strategic move. Now, when I approached Richard, he said he was going to shoot in sepia tone. So I did that same exact thing. If he did sepitone, I did sepitone, then it's going to come down to composition. It's going to come down to the more interesting shot, and I was confident that I had that. In the speed challenge, I lost, but with the theme challenge, I'm really confident that I'm going to win. All right, Richard and Justin, you've just completed your theme challenge. Before we get those photos judged, it's time for one final face-off the Extreme Challenge. Well, here we are at the Royal Elephant Kraal. Once, this is where all the elephants were rounded up and trained for war. That all ended in 1906. Today, this is Thailand's oldest elephant shelter. For this Extreme Challenge, you'll have to direct the elephants to pose and capture that perfect portrait shot. Oh, come on, again? We start with the so small stuff, like baby, now so big stuff, and again, still difficult to control. Your cameras for this challenge, the Canon EOS 5D Mark III. This full-frame powerhouse should really help you for this mammoth task ahead. OK, Justin, you're up first. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it, Richard? Wow, it's amazing. Bam, elephants everywhere, giant elephants, and I'm excited. A little bit of different strategy, though, right? They're, normally, I charge right in. With an elephant, I can't really do that. So the first thing, make eye contact, pet the trunk a little bit. I want it to warm up to me, just like a person. I guess it's kind of a weird thought process, but I think it works. Can you both get on top, on the front? Can you get on top? Good, 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 good. You look this way, you look that way. My strategy going in was to capture the relationship with the trainer and the elephant. I wanted to capture maybe a little bond between them in a nice portrait atmosphere. So can you both get up? Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Look this way. Give me that best. Oh, I don't think I want to see his penis, but. He is good in directing the model. 
He's being very proactive. I think this is his years of experience, isn't it, now? Yes. Don't forget, though, we're looking at elephant portrait. Justin has taken a lot of photos with the elephant and trainers. That was not right. The challenge is to take the best portraits of the elephant, not with the trainer. Hold it. One more, one more. That's perfect. I like that. So I look at the shot, but what do I have here? What do I have here? Well, the elephant's not really the star of the shot. The trainer is, and the point of it is to get a portrait of the elephants. Oh, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Presented by Canon Photo Marathon. Presented by Canon Photo Marathon. I noticed that Justin was taking a lot of photos with the elephant and trainers. That was not right. Hold it. One more, one more. That's perfect. I like that. So I look at the shot. What do I have here? What do I have here? Well, the elephant's not really the star of the shot. The trainer is, and the point of it is to get a portrait of the elephants. Oh, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Face each other. Have to be like uh, like this. Really close together, both heads. Very cool. Hold it. Oh, I just missed that one. Oh, this is tough. Right now, I'm thinking maybe I'll go with the tighter shot, the moment, the portraits where the elephant's the star. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I got time for one more, one more. Very nice. Perfect, perfect. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so challenging. <laughs> Job well done, Jazza. Oh, good job. I think he got a lot of shots there, but there's still plenty more, I think, in the elephant's artillery. Good luck to you, Richard. Go get him. Thank you. I was walking into the arena, so nervous. All the imagined pose I have in my mind, Justin has already done all that. So I, I have to find a good strategy to come up with something good. Can we have one lie down in front of the big one, the small one lie down in front of the big one? Yes. Oh, yes. Compositionally, he's getting low. Or he seems to know that little trick that photographers know, is get low, get on the ground, right? Yes, perfect. I like Richard. He knows these little tricks that I know. He's definitely a worthy competitor, but we'll see if he's good enough to beat me. Wow, beautiful. Yes, yes. The shot uh, showing the interaction between the two elephants, that's the kind of shot that I like. That's nice. Thank you. Richard, well done. Challenge is complete. Richard, mission accomplished. How was that for you? Ah, so tired, but it was fun. Really good. All right, well, gentlemen, pick your best photos and I will see you both for the final judging. OK. Richard and Justin, the battle is over. Before I continue, I'd like to thank our two models we had for the Extreme Challenge. You guys can go now. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, your fate now lies in the hands of our judges. Let's meet the panel. To begin with, welcome back to Joey Ong, the creative director of Spike Brand, who, of course, judged the Speed Challenge. Welcome back. I'd like to welcome Paula Taylor, model, VJ, and actress, and named 17 Magazine's teen idol for five years running, so she is Thailand's ultimate sweetheart. And last but not least, of course, our resident judge, Kevin O, multi-international award-winning photographer. His work's been published in Vogue, Elle, and Rolling Stone. So we're in good company today, gentlemen. All right, judges, in front of you, you have the two photos from the theme challenge. You don't know who these photographs belong to. The theme chosen was Field of Dreams, and the arena was Wachai Watanara. Judges, should we take a look at the pictures? Yep. Sure. What do you like about this picture? It makes you feel like you're actually lying there in the grass. It does. It does look picnic. like a beautiful Sunday picnic. You're just rolling over and you just see this magnificence in front of you. One thing I really do like about this picture is the fact that it was shot in sepia. Yeah. It gives it that old, ancient age to it. I think the only thing I don't like about it is the composition. That's it. It's very basic. It's predictable. Right. The one downfall about this picture is the fact that there is no one focal point to look at. I think it's a very confused shot. Your eye sort of wanders all around. Yep. All right, Paula, let's start with you. 
Okay. Look at this picture. What do you like about this? It makes it look magical. It really fits the field of dreams. Right. Actually, it looks like you're peeking into it. One thing I do like about this is because of that depth, I think this definitely adds to that dream quality of it. Joey, what don't you like about this? It gives me very uncomfortable eyes to look at it. And it's like uh, the little thing here, it distracts the image. I think this is a nice touch, but it wasn't executed very well. I yes. think if the leaves were kind of like spread to the side, so you see a little bit more of this building, that would be I think that would be better. All right, judges, now that we've discussed this, shall we score this theme challenge photo? Yes. Justine photos and mine are actually deliver pretty much the same thing. He didn't expect he would come with the same idea of uh, sepia colour, just like mine. All right, judges, who is the winner? The winner of the theme challenge is... Justin Watt, congratulations! Justin won the theme challenge by only nine points. Richard can still pull out an overall victory if he scores high enough with his extreme challenge photo. All right, judges, in front of you are the photos from the Extreme Challenge. Now, the challenge was to take a portrait of the elephants and to direct them in whatever poses they wanted at the Royal Elephant Kraal. These are the photographs. Judge away. Judges, I think we have our work cut out for us. Definitely. It's going to be tough. <laughs> All right, Paula, let's start with you. What do you like about this picture? I love that you can see so much character from both elephants. I love the composition. I love the fact that, you know, because they shot it in a vertical format, it, it reaches up. It just looks very sure, grand. Sure, sure. I like the, the smiling elephant, and especially, like, the clear blue sky. Fantastic guy. So now this is the hard part. Okay. What don't you like about this picture? What's not to like? <laughs> That's true. I don't like the photographer. I'm jealous. OK. Excellent. All right, so let's start going on to this one. Joey, what do you think? I like the close-up of the elephant, and it seems that both elephants embrace one another. So much texture and so much detail into it. I love the texture. I think the exposure was so precise that you do see all the, every single fold yeah. of the elephant, you know? For me, I find it a very emotional photo. It looks like you've caught the elephants in an intimate moment. I, I think this type of photo is not something you can get them to pose. You have to wait for the right moment. These two photographs, they got this beautiful moment. Beautiful moment. I think it captured it at the right time. So I think both images are really close. It's going to be a tough fight. Now that we've talked about this, shall we score this extreme challenge photos? All right, judges, the moment of truth. Who is the winner of the Extreme Challenge? Gentlemen, you guys made it really difficult for the judges, but we had to pick one. And the winner of the Extreme Challenge is... Justin, congratulations. A clean <laughs> sweep, three out of three. Job well done. Excellent. That was really tiny. I was stressed. So, Justin, you won the photo face off Thailand. A 5,000 US dollar contribution will be made to Orbis, an international charity that treats and prevents blindness. Congratulations. My overall experience at photo face off Thailand was simply awesome. I was given the big and the elephant, and I won. I was given the small and the baby, and I won. So yeah, winning is fun, and I'm a happy dude. Justin won this week's competition, but Richard still has a chance to win the grand prize when all the contestants return to face off against each other in the finale. Even though I lost in my home ground, I'm ready for the finale. Guys, you better watch out. I'll fight back. Join me as Justin Mott takes on a new photographer in a new city with brand new challenges. The photo face off continues. Presented by Canon Photo Marathon.